If you are ready to supercharge your Next.js header process, let's dive in. Recently, Bun made its debut with version 1. For those unfamiliar, Bun is an all-in-one toolkit for building JavaScript and TypeScript apps. One of its standout features is its role as a package manager, putting it in the league of NPM, Yarn, and PNPM. I have set up a side-by-side -side comparison in VS Code. On the left, I'm going to set up a new Next.js 13 project using npx, which is the npm package runner. Press enter and stick with the defaults. You will see the command completes in approximately 10 seconds. Now on the right, I'm using bun for the same task. Bun x, which is the equivalent to npx. Create next app. Bun x demo 1. Stick to the defaults once again. And you can see it takes only three seconds. Imagine shaving off a few seconds every time you set up a project. Over a year, that's like saving an entire day, probably. And what's even better is the subsequent installs. I'm going to run with npx again, npx demo 2. And this time, you can see it took three seconds. But if I do the same with one x, you can see it is 324 milliseconds. The developer experience feels almost surreal with such speed. You will question whether it actually worked. And what about package installations? npm install next auth. This takes about three seconds. The same with bun, bun add next auth takes just 344 milliseconds. Every second counts, and Bun seems to understand that. By the way, you can run the Next.js application using npm run dev and Bun run dev. The bottom line is Bun is super fast. But there is a caveat. The Next.js app router currently relies on Node.js APIs that Bun hasn't implemented yet. While Bun excels as a package manager with Next.js, you will still need Node to run the development server. I'm pretty sure that will change in the very near future. Now, if Bun has spiked your curiosity as it did mine, drop a comment below. I'm excited to dive deeper into its capabilities and compare it with Node.js for you. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos on Next.js.